Apostle Joshua Selman in a life-changing sermon that explores the depths of God's love and wisdom, discover practical insights for victorious living, and a closer walk with the divine. Don't miss this opportunity to elevate your spiritual journey and experience the extraordinary. Stay tuned. One definition of frustration in life is to walk void of the knowledge of your assignment. You will waste energy. You will waste resources. Are you listening to me? We used to play um, a little game during break when I was in primary school. Now, primary school children play computer games during break time. But we used to play a game. I don't know how many of you did it. You people will walk around and you come. I pass here, and what will you say? I pass here. That's how many people are doing in destiny. They just get everywhere. I like technical. I pass here, and life will say what? No way. Hallelujah. And there are so many people escorting others to the place of destiny god designed that you find fulfillment when you begin to walk in your purpose are you listening to me your joy is in your purpose your peace is in your purpose your prosperity is in your purpose your fame and your influence is in your purpose and the danger is this if you do not find it you will live your life getting offended and angry at those who have found it because you will aspire to become what they already are but you will find out that the road you are taking will always end you up in frustration one more time say after me i was born for a reason i was born for a reason many of you as you are saying it, you are laughing at yourself you say me too yes you in Luke chapter 4 from verse 17 the Bible makes us to understand that Jesus do you realize listen to me that Jesus was a non-entity until the day he found his purpose is in your Bible there was no there was no proof that Jesus was an important person that people loved him and valued him until the day when he found something Luke chapter 4 you remain a non-entity in life i don't care who you are i don't care how fine you are i don't care who your father is luke chapter 4 verse 17. hallelujah are you there can someone read it for us please he said and there was handed to him the role of the book of the prophet isaiah he said he opened the book and found the place hey and found where the place there is a place for you and he found the place he didn't say he found a place he opened the book in the opening of the book he did what he found the place the place there is the place it's not a place for many people it's not a place for competition you know why there's so much competition because many people are trying to be what a few people who have found their purpose have become and the best you can become of another person is a second class of that person your originality is manifested when you find the place next verse verse 18 this is what jesus found the spirit of the lord is upon me hmm. for he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor he has sent me to announce release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind to send forth as delivered those who are oppressed who are downtrodden bruised crushed and broken down by calamity next verse 19 to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord the day when salvation and the free favors of god profusely abound verse 20 listen to what jesus said and he rolled up the book and gave it back to the attendant 
and sat down and the eyes of all in the synagogue were gazing attentively at him 21 and he began to speak to them and said what today your today starts when you discover purpose many of you are celebrating birthday how many how old are you 35 all right that's nice but your today has not started until you begin to walk in purpose he said today this scripture has been fulfilled in other words i am come as a fulfillment of this prophecy what prophecy are you fulfilling your work upon the earth is supposed to be a fulfillment of a prophecy are you listening to me what prophecy are you fulfilling for many of us all that we desire is to just say lord bring a man now to marry me am i not getting old and we believe that that is all to our lives but i want you to know that there is more say there is more say i was born for a reason yes you are. jeremiah chapter one let's look at what god had to tell jeremiah jeremiah chapter one from verse four jeremiah chapter one from verse four are you getting blessed tonight jeremiah chapter one then the word of the lord came to me jeremiah saying now this was jeremiah he was a great prophet born to be a great prophet jeremiah brought the lamentations and caused the nation of israel to walk in the path of the lord but he did not know that that was his divine destiny in christ until it was revealed to him verse four okay verse verse four please then the word of the lord came to me saying verse five before i formed you can we read it together one to read before i formed you in the womb i knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument and before you were born i separated you and set you apart consecrating you and i appointed you as a prophet to the nation he said what before your father and your mother came together you see why i say you are not a biological accident because i don't care who your father is and who your mother is and how you came mm -mm. he said before you were formed in your mother's womb he said i knew you oh he knows my name that's what the bible says he knows my every thought he sees each tear that falls and he hears me when i call brother do you realize that before you were born it has been written concerning you in other words heaven met come on let me have somebody just anybody let me have somebody bridget god bless you that means when it was time for bridget to come upon the earth the holy spirit didn't just go on an errand and suddenly he just found out that our ah, bridget is coming and they say hey what do we do let her just come we'll find something no no it was well calculated by heaven they created a vacuum in the earth and planted bridget to be the solution that prophecy to reveal that dimension of god and they said now you can go and she appeared but let me tell you something your coming upon the earth does not mean that you are going to walk in purpose you must discover it hallelujah yes ago i carried my bible i carried my jota and i ran to the dam abu dam many of you only go there for picnic we didn't go there for business destiny discovering business and you go there i will buy bones and yogurt 30 naira, and bones and i'll sit down there and flog it out with destiny and say lord i cannot be a non-entity there's got to be something about my life my father didn't tell me what i was born for did your father tell you what you were born for i hope you will tell your children what they were born for 
because it's the responsibility of every father before you get your wife pregnant sit down and say lord what am i doing who is coming what is his destiny that's what manoah did he called the angel he said come and tell us what will be the destiny of this child and what we are supposed to do and he said he shall be a nazarene let no razor touch his head he shall be a judge over the house of israel hallelujah so when you realize that you were born for a reason it will change your outlook about life suddenly do you know that everyone was created with inferiority complex by default i don't care whether your father is the president of this country i have seen great people with inferiority complex i've seen beautiful ladies handsome guys with inferiority complex i've seen millionaires with inferiority complex inferiority complex can be tried to solve you can try to solve it with different things but only your purpose kills it once and for all so you don't solve inferiority complex by prayer you solve it by discovery are you listening to me when you find your place that i have a place in life and that you have discovered it and you will walk in that path hallelujah how many of you believe that you have a purpose in christ how many of you believe you have an assignment this discovery helps you because many of us have role models that are not in the area of our purpose and we are struggling and sweating i must be a fashion designer the grace is not there it's not part of your job description in destiny and you are suffering and sweating i must be this thing you are trying and somebody comes to work with ease with the grace that came upon his life are you listening to me there are many of you i must do music this music is selling i must do it nobody is buying your album there are no helpers there are no partners no errands and all to hold your hand you are suffering nobody likes what you are doing you are saying i must still that's the one i want tonight i want you to know that your place in life is not determined by you it's determined by god so outside of god there is no discovery of purpose there is only ambition Are you listening to me the bible says he opened the book and he found his place without the opening of the book you will never find your place in life there are so many people that have been crying lord what am i here for let me tell you something the danger of complex is unimaginable if you think this message is not important wait until you get out of this place and you will see how confused your life will be today you want to be like your brother tomorrow you want to be like this person this swaying life purpose gives you stability hallelujah very quickly how do i discover my assignment how do i discover my purpose now that you know you were born for a reason i know that many of you have heard it born for a reason born for a reason but it has not dawned on many of you that you should discover the specifics about your life don't say i'm too young joash was age eight when he became the king of israel number one to discover your purpose There are certain parameters that God has put together. Number one, your potentials. Say after me, potentials. The word potential comes from the word potent. That means it's inherent. An ability that has not been tapped yet. Hallelujah. Your potential is a pointer to your purpose. It's a pointer to your assignment. Your potentials are inherent abilities. Make sure you write the word inherent. They are not gotten by impartation. You came with it. Hallelujah. Listen, look up please. 
there are some of you here from the day you were born from the day you were born as a baby every time you hear music as a little child you just go and stand close to the tv and if they want to take you away you are crying hallelujah from age seven you started singing in children's choir you were the youngest here they couldn't stop you your parents refused that you would not go for riaza the moment they were stopping you one uncle came and said lie lie i used to go and set the sound in the church i'll be taking the person every time you turn towards that area destiny seems to open up doors for you potentials hallelujah from young the leadership mandate not just ministry mandate not just apostolic mandate. everywhere i went in my life i was a leader there are some of you like that class monitor class one two three four five you are the last one in your family but your father will call you and say we're about to make a decision what do you think is making him do that hmm. are you listening to me potential your inherent ability your inherent ability given by god many of you have seen it is glaring before you every day what are your potentials don't say i don't have any are you joking let me list some of them for you it will shock you because many of you do not think they are called potentials there are some of you that are exceptionally beautiful ladies what do you think that is potential do you know in the book of esther the nation of israel was saved by the potential of beauty there was no prophet that prophesied anything there there was no man of god that turned snake into a rod or and it was a the beauty of a woman took her to the palace are you listening to me and she obtained favor and brought salvation to the nation of israel what of your creativity there are some of you who are so creative you have a thousand ways of doing the same thing are you listening to me creativity very important music for some of you when we are suffering to train our voice drinking ginger and honey you take cold water you break all the rules of music but you sing well you pitch to a point that you even you you are surprised let me tell you one proof that is your potential there is ease and grace in that area there is no struggling you like it so much even if they don't pay you you do it with joy while others are crying you cannot believe that they are crying about this thing hallelujah every time you see jimmy and and um assistant music director david every time you see them give them one minute they are playing a new song and you see them laughing i get so bored with what they are doing but you see them nodding i mean they are just enjoying it they say have you had this i just had this recent download by by um john picky and they are playing and dancing you know and just enjoying themselves and are leaping i'm saying can these guys get out of here There are many of you when you are about to sleep and they just tune to a fashion channel you just wipe sleep from your eyes and you can sit down till the next day while we are sleeping then when they tune Benny Hinn I'm watching I'm happy I'm laughing you are angry because I'm not giving you room to tune to the channel you are like what is it Benny Hinn such a boring man you are my hiding place yes I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it listen I hope you are getting my point there are many of you from the day you came to ABU, you love your class. Even when you finish exam, you just go and sit down there and you are smiling. And your colleagues, listen, 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 listen. Your colleagues do not even understand. Are you listening to me? You have started becoming ashamed. They've called you everything. Bookworm, prof. It's not like you like it. You can't stop it. Even when you are about to sleep, after 10 minutes, you just touch your hook and just use your touch and glance through something briefly before you close it. And your roommate is saying, this guy is frustrating us. Could it be that there is a voice in prison crying inside of you? 
wanting to find expression there are many of you who are leaders when you were age five you were behaving as if you were 15 years old when your colleagues are playing you sit down and be thinking like this your father will say what kind of stupid boy are you your colleagues are playing eating sand and he said daddy no we can't eat sand and your father is saying jesus christ i be this guy is the incarnate of one elderly man you see a small have you seen little children like that very mature something touches their clothes and they're even cleaning it and they're careful you want to go and bath them at age three or four they are saying no say so just wait outside but like what in the world is happening to this generation potential your ability are you listening to me your first assignment tonight is write the list of all your potentials write it i wrote it hallelujah i knew i had the call of god upon my life i didn't know how it was going to start and when god was teaching me this all of this drama happened in the dark god told me write it i said singing oh then i had a beautiful voice i had not laid it as opportunity cause for ministry i had a beautiful voice hallelujah but you can't serve two masters at the same time hallelujah that's why god brought a beautiful worship team if you preach the way i'm doing your voice cannot be smooth hallelujah and i wrote singing and then i wrote teaching oh i love teaching i love teaching i can sit down do you know i was so obsessed about teaching i will soon reveal many of your secrets to you i will lock myself sometimes in the room and you imagine yourself teaching how many of you and you teach so well and now my own is not teaching in class or teaching the world and I'm teaching and I imagine myself talking to people and I tell you as I'm doing it the anointing of God comes truly as if God is not playing say if you like be playing you are doing rehearsal do you know this is how I learned how to preach I would stand at the foundation we had one empty foundation in our house they wanted to start a construction they're very and I'll stand and I'll imagine a crowd of people and I'll tell them turn with me to the book of this little did I know I was killing the bear and the lion in the wilderness Many of you, every time you are in your room, you just lock your room and put two chairs. And you say, um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are on to ministry today. Aha. Uh -huh. Many of you are saying, hey, it's not word of knowledge. It's word of wisdom. I know it should happen to you. Hallelujah. And you have passion. Every time you tell your roommates, they laugh at you. But there is something crying inside of you. The next thing, your passion your passion your passion what is it that you would do if you were not paid there are many of you that love some things it's not the issue of money there are things in my life that i do with passion for instance what i'm doing oh boy i can preach till tomorrow morning i tell you if i'm tired it's just for your sake i can preach till morning once you make a mistake of giving me this mic even if you don't give me a bible god recorded small of it in my head and that one that i have i will preach it out sometimes when i'm going for night vigil people just pity me i say are you joking i'm enjoying myself seriously the exact same feeling you receive in the kitchen is what i'm receiving now hallelujah passion what do you have passion for do you realize that many of you are doing things you don't have passion for you are angry you are frustrated stop it you must not do it you are doing it because you belong to friends who are doing it hallelujah stop frustrating yourself and begin to pursue the areas that you have passion because there is grace there the last point discovering your purpose steps to discover your purpose the last point is the place of your pain and your anger the place of consistent pain and anger everywhere you keep receiving consistent pain and anger there is an assignment there for you are you listening to me moses the the grace for a deliverer was upon him and when he saw that his people were being oppressed what happened he was angry 
to a point that he killed a man later in the years he would be the deliverer of those people there are things that make me angry i hate it when i see that people do not love god i hate it when people disrespect god and don't have a passion for the things of the spirit i hate it when people do not live by the principles of the kingdom i hate it when satan oppresses people i hate seeing sick people i hate poverty i hate poverty with my life i hate the effect it has created on people i hate the effect that on society my anger my pain many of you have been rejecting your pain will you go back and revisit your pain right now when you were young you were abused when you were age 12 you were you hate men you hate everybody would it be that there is an assignment for you there are you listening to me there are many of you who just sit down and you get concerned about people's relationship even if it's not your business they have insulted you you are tired you have gone to repent before god but you find yourself there again could it be that you have the grace to be a life coach to help people 